What's up guys, it's your super play is back at it again with another video and it's your host Tony G bringing you the best leaders for October. So these are the leaders that you might be seeing, you might be seeing them in nationals at the end of this month. And this list is not going to be in any order, it's just popularity of what's dominating right now in every event and what makes top 16 and what you should be playing if you want to be at the top, top seats in the, these type of events and let's just start off the list. This is just for October opinion, what I've been seeing and if you if I miss something make sure you hit it up in the comment sec or in the comment section down below and let's get to it. So first off we want to start off with Yellow Broly Leader. This guy's so versatile he's killing it everywhere right now because there's two variants. There's the U6 variant and then there's the, the 8 variant. So pretty much they do the same thing just one's a little bit more aggressive than the other because once you got King Vegeta, obviously the U, uh, the U6, you have Champa. Those two pretty much make all your, one makes U6 combos for free and the other one makes your apes for free. So you just combo them and they come to rest mode or come or evolve on top of the, the battle area or you just get extra combo power with the Saiyan ability with King Vegeta. You combo one, you draw like with the Unbreakable Goku, which is nuts for free. So. Obviously, we're gonna start off with Yellow Broly because one, he's epic, and he has two variants that make always top cut, and it's gonna be the U6 variant and the Red Yellow 8 variant. And then moving on, we have Janemba. Janemba is one of the most first, like one of the best leaders out there. It's been topping no matter what. It's always made top cut. It's always been in the top eight. It's always top 16. Any event you go to, you see Janemba, and obviously there's this variant that's green, yellow, and blue. So it runs a lot of counterplay cards. So you play defensive and you start milling out your opponent. So good. Or you can maybe run the mono blue variant. You can still mill out your opponent as fast as you can. But obviously you have Janemba. Janemba is still one of the best leaders out there. A really good contender in this format. And this is a very healthy format and it's so much fun. So if you're just getting into the game, definitely pick some of these decks up. Some of them are expensive, some aren't. And then moving on to the next one is going to be Toa. Toa is one of my favorite leaders just because it's hand destruction. I've been a huge fan of hand destruction for a really long time. And you pretty much just control the entire game. You have um, Toa who has pretty much an answer to every deck, potentially. So you have things that bring out counter plays that stop two drops or less from attacking you. Or even playing TN that stops your opponent from abusing their energy with blue leaders and so you also run Haru Haru which restands four energies when you play her so it's just a crazy deck it has the answers for most decks and it's just super powerful it gives Mira critical and it gives a double strike and not only that Mira will warp your hand so it's just like a big body that's just gonna run you over pretty much so Toa's up there always a top contender always making top cut as well Moving on to the next one are the two dragons, the Wrath of the Dragons. You got Purunga and you got Shenron. Both do different things, but they run the same key thing as ramp. That's amazing. You ramp up as fast as you can to play out your Victory Strike or your Kaioken or even Gogeta. These cards just are so powerful in this format just because they hurt your hand. One shuffles your hand back, the other one strips your like counterplays and it becomes a triple <laughs> a triple uh, striker with du dual attack, which is nuts. Once you like take a life, you snatch another card, and he gets 25k boost, I believe. And then you have Victory Strike. Victory Strike is one of the most powerful cards in this game. People hate it, but love it at the same time, just because you Victory Strike your opponent, you just hit them one time, they lose the game. Moving on is Clash of Fates Goku. This green leader makes it one of the best leaders just because it also runs Kaioken Goku and not only that it has preemptive strike in its disposal where you could stop four drops or less from being played which is very powerful if you really think about it you could stop the ramp decks from playing you could still go aggressive because you have extra cards that are critical that give the leader critical and not only that you have the draw power that fills up the drop area as well so you could add over realm you could just Incorporate very aggressive plays with this leader and it's just amazing. And moving on is also Universe 6 Kaba, which abuses itself. It usually takes about 2-3 turns to really awaken with this leader. 
and it's just it's such an aggro deck it just spams out your little U6 universe cards your little weenie cards and then you start bringing out big behemoths and it's just insane you start doing some crazy plays not only that you awaken and you get so much draw ability with that leader strong contender and moving on to the next one is gonna be baby or Vegeta baby or baby Vegeta I keep forgetting the name of it but it's just I don't know but that guy has the answers for a lot of decks as well you bring out the big triple strike ape you pop things that come out to the play and it's just like it, you just stop your opponent it's such a powerful um, leader especially because you also get the counterplay that's just like preemptive strike but the red variant one and it just kills anything that's 20,000 or less it's a counterplay so you can't even bring it out as long as your leader is red and that moves on to the next red leader it's gonna be Pan. Pan is such a powerful contender as well these two red leaders are very versatile in this format just because it has counterplays you could respond to and Baby has self awakening but Pan also has that 5k boost and draw and the next card I think or the leader that I really enjoyed and I used to be in love with this leader is Universe 7 Frieza because the new draft box has given this deck so much ammo just because you can play some really nifty counterplay cards especially the new Ultra Instinct Goku that doesn't seem to be going down in price you'll be seeing it in the market watch and some honorable mentions we do have Go Red Gogeta Leader we have Hurudagarn and Gogeta Ramp the blue one as well so these leaders are honorable mentions if I miss some hit it up in the comment section down below but this is the October tier list um, and there you guys have it. Like, comment, subscribe. And from your host, Tony G. And you'll super play us. Y'all stay super.